In the desolate wasteland of Mad Max, a new storm is brewing. Hardy fans, brace yourselves. Tom won't be returning as Max Rokotansky in the upcoming Furiosa prequel. Yep, you heard it right. The news is coming from George Miller himself. Instead, his double, Jacob Tamuri, is taking the wheel. Crazy, huh? I think he could have been a great stuntman himself. Uh, um, no, no, no. But he, to be fair, like, Jacob's been asked and he's been humble as a lot of stuntmen. But wait, there's more drama in this desert saga. Turns out, behind the scenes, Hardy faced a clash with his co-star Charlize Theron. I mean, it was reported that they didn't get along. Yeah, they didn't I mean, get along. Yeah. They didn't get along. While they both received acclaim for their roles, it wasn't all smooth riding. In fact, their issues on set were so intense that they reached the media even before filming wrapped. Their feud? Well, it was like a dust storm in the desert. Hardy's tardiness really got under Theron's skin, especially since she's all about being on time and disciplined. What is Tom Hardy like in a real life? Yep. Late. And on top of that, she had her own little quirks, like hating dust and finding the script a bit confusing. I, d I don't know if I could function in a, a very far-fetched world. I, I don't know, maybe my imagination isn't good enough. So you can imagine how things got pretty tense on set. But what really fueled the fire was Hardy's constant questioning about his character. Theron, on the other hand, wasn't into that. His need for details exhausted her, putting her in survival mode. But hey, every storm eventually calms, right? Luckily, by the end of filming, they smoothed things over and managed to be on civil terms. You think I made a good decision? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the good news. Tom Hardy's not disappearing from the silver screen just yet. In fact, he's gearing up for another thrilling adventure in 77 Blackout, directed by Kerry Joji Fukunaga. It stars Mahershala Ali alongside Hardy as they navigate through a gritty landscape of crime and corruption. Well. Everybody knows that Tom nails the bad boy image, right? It might just stem from his rocky past. But in the chaos of fame and fortune, Tom Hardy finally found comfort and peace in his 10-year marriage to Charlotte Riley. When Tom met Charlotte, he didn't have the greatest track record in the field of love. The actor was previously divorced and had just come out of a long-term relationship with his then-girlfriend, who had his first child. The actor had a lot of baggage, but still, Riley saw past all of that. I just love him however he comes. Riley gushed. But the couple were not just at different points in their personal lives only, but in their careers too. Hardy was a big name actor who had starred in blockbusters like Batman, The Dark Knight Rises, Snatched, and Locked. In contrast, Riley was considered a quote, an unknown straight from drama school by reporters. But Hardy already had fame and fortune, so the chances of impressing him were not so high. In fact, he had already survived the temptations of showbiz and was probably looking to slow down and settle down with someone who wasn't so much in the public eye. When the actor first tied the knot with his first wife, Sarah Ward, back in 1999, he was just a nobody trying hard to make it in acting. Ward stayed by his side while he tried to pursue his career. Finally, her support paid off, and in 2001, he was cast in his first credited role in the short film Tommaso. But the journey to pursuing his career was not easy for Hardy. Being an actor is not easy. The countless auditions one attends just hoping it will be their big break can eventually break anyone, especially when nothing is looking good. And for Hardy, he had been back and forth hoping to land something for a while. And when he finally landed a good role in Star Trek, the film was considered a flop. And this failure broke Tom. He had fought hard to achieve something his entire life, and when he finally got the chance to do so, he wasn't good enough. In fact, it was worse than not being good enough. His talents and skill were considered to be poor. This brought out painful insecurities to the actor. Was he in the right field? Or had he just wasted years of his life? The low self-esteem even caused him to doubt himself in working spaces. He was left feeling like an imposter, as though he did not belong. Everything scares me, the actor shared. I had no idea how to handle the industry to interact with producers, executive producers, studios, even my fellow men. I was 24 years old, punching well above my weight. In a terrible attempt to feel better, Hardy drove himself into substance abuse. You're the only person that I trust. Are you yeah. drunk? No, I broke into the life foundation. The actor even admitted that at his lowest point, he would possibly sell his mother at a desperate chance to get a good high. Thankfully for Tom and his mother, 
He decided to get help for his addiction back in 2003. After waking up in a pool of blood and his own vomit, Hardy decided to check himself into rehab. I did my 28 days, and after listening to people who had been through similar circumstances, I realized I did have a problem. With professional help, the actor started his journey to being clean and has been at it since. And something unexpected has been helping him do that. Those tattoos may be absolutely sexy, but there is more to them than meets the eye. In 2018, the actor was candid about his experiences with being sober, making sure everyone out there struggling also knows that it's not easy to do and it's not easy to stay clean. However, having something to remind you of how far you've come and why you're doing it is important. And for Hardy, his reminders were all that ink we see on his body. And although he had overcome his addiction to illegal substances, he experienced a crushing heartbreak that forced him to break his alcohol sobriety. A year after stepping on a new path, Tom's first marriage to producer Sarah Ward came crashing down. He had married Ward after just three weeks of getting to know each other. Their union may have seemed rushed, but the lovebirds were so sorely in love with one another that they couldn't wait to spend the rest of their years together. Five years to be exact. Hardy's addiction caused a rift between them that Sarah couldn't handle anymore and filed for divorce. And that was not easy for Tom, who took it out on himself for years. But in 2005, on the set of The Virgin Queen, Tom found someone to help him pick up the pieces of his crushed heart. Rachel Speed was the woman who caught his heart and for the next two years, the couple dated. But Tom still didn't have his life together. I was self-indulgent for a long time, and I was only thinking about myself and my own stupid stuff, he explained. But after Rachel gave birth to his first child, everything changed. Having a child lifts you out of selfish behavior and gives you responsibility. It forces you to be a better man and to live a healthy life. And for Hardy, having a child was his second wake-up call. He credits his son for helping him become sober and stay sober at a time when the thought had not even crossed his mind. Children are de like, deeply honest, uh, and uh, so he, he was my little spirit guide. When asked whether he would sacrifice moving to Hollywood to climb higher in his career, the actor simply wasn't for it. That is just completely out of the question, adding that any time away from his son is completely criminal. Tom recently welcomed two more children with his wife, Riley, which they have kept very private about. In 2018, Riley spoke candidly about how she juggles her family and career. What's important for me is stability. That's what I aim for in terms of my friends, my family, and my children, she told You Magazine. The best you can hope for is to create a warm, loving, safe, and consistent environment. We do it the same way everyone else does, a combination of juggling and help. Just as Hardy overcame his struggle, he helped his wife overcome something that was hard for her too, a fear of dogs. This might sound silly to some, but to Riley, who was bitten by a poodle when she was younger, dogs were not her best friend. They were ferocious animals that could possibly end her life. The whole thing happened by chance after Hardy came across a stray and just couldn't let it go. He adores dogs, and when he was filming Lawless in Atlanta, he found this abandoned puppy on a freeway. After her husband's support to get over her fears, the couple was able to adopt a third baby into their marriage, Woody, their little furry four-legged baby. Uh, have you got your, your friend here? Yeah, this is Woody. He's, uh, he's wearing Alexander McQueen tonight, aren't you, mate? Hi, Woody. Yeah, Woody's a stalwart member of the crew. And uh, there you go. Tom Hardy has been through his fair share of ups and downs. The actor experienced constant heartbreak, first from his first love, acting then from the women in his life who he saw himself spending the rest of his life with. But if there's anything his life can teach anyone, it's to not give up. No one's life can be changed overnight, but one small decision which can turn into a long life commitment. And when you fought to succeed, it's good to remember not to let your past dictate your future.